Hey everyone, happy Sunday. I hope that wherever you are in the world and whatever you're doing, you are having a great weekend. I want to talk to you today about a topic that has been rattling around in my head this week, and it's got to do with motorsport, specifically the Formula Extreme E. Now, this is a race series that is being established by the same people behind the Formula E race series, which let's face it, has been fantastic. The final is this weekend, or in fact, it was yesterday. Uh, fantastic, fantastic race series, done a whole lot to promote electric vehicles. But Extreme E is hoping to do the same, but with an off-road kind of component to it. So it's got these fantastic off-road SUVs. They're all electric, they're race prepared, uh, they're extreme off-roading vehicles. And so you're going to see races taking place off the beaten track to the point that Extreme E has said it wants to hold these races in really remote locations around the world and use that, use the race as a way to highlight some of the challenges facing communities and parts of the world that are in these extreme locations from climate change and just from modern living, some of the challenges that that face these communities and perhaps to suggest some solutions as to how we can all club together and help save these beautiful, beautiful parts of the world. But I'm on the fence because environmentalism is great. I, you know, environmentalism is what we all need to be doing. We need to be doing more of it to encourage more people to look after the planet because we only have one. And electric vehicle racing, fantastic. It's a great way of getting people switched on to electric vehicles. But taking electric vehicles to a remote location to have a race to then highlight the plight of that area or the challenges that that area faces as a consequence of climate change feels a little disingenuous. We have some beautiful wildernesses still in the world. You know, you think about um, Siberia, you think about fo frozen tundras, you think about the Him Himalayas, um, you think about deserts in Africa, um, places, beautiful places in South Africa that are still generally not spoilt by human hands. I meant South America, not South Africa. Please excuse my brain. It's been a long week. Anyway, we have these beautiful wildernesses and generally I think we should be encouraging those wildernesses to exist without humans going and screwing it up. And it feels that if we have these extreme race series in the middle of these extreme places, people are going to have to get there, which means they're either going to have to travel by car or they're going to have to travel um, by bus or they're going to have to fly in. And the pollution associated with all of that is not insignificant. Sure, carbon offsetting is a great thing, but do we really need to go to these places to highlight their environmental plight in order to have an electric vehicle race there. I'm not against Extreme E. I think Extreme E is a great idea. I love off-roading racing. I think it's great. You know, I'm, I'm British. I grew up with Rally is like one of the biggest motorsports in the UK. And I'd love to see something like that involving EVs, but I don't feel that we need to actually hold these races in really remote, extreme, fragile places. And I want to know what you think. How would you solve this kind of disconnect here? The extreme E vehicles are either going to be battery electric or they might be hydrogen electric, which again, some people are not going to like. But it comes back to the idea of shouldn't we be leaving those places alone? Um, I mean, you, you only have to see what's been going on in Australia right now. You know, thousands and thousands and thousands of tourists are going to Uluru before there is a ban on tourists going there. And it's causing all kinds of problems to what is a sacred site for Aborigines. And I, I worry that racing in remote locations is going to cause the same kind of problems. So my questions to you are this, can we do this without causing, you know, major problems of our own, either environmental or, or actually damaging the environment where these races will be held? Um, can we come up with an alternative? Can we have an off-road race series that does not rely on people going to the to wildernesses all around the world and racing there? Is there a better way of showcasing 
some of the damage that we humans are doing to the planet? Is there a better way of highlighting how we can change things to try and save those places? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I will be back tomorrow with more videos. I just want to say thanks to everybody who's put up with the slightly sketchy schedule over the last couple of months. Uh, we've been in and out of the office at various events. I've been off doing things. I had a little bit of a vacation last week and we are going to be moving studio, hopefully, fingers crossed, in the next two months. So keep your eyes peeled for that. There will be a video, hopefully, on the Transport Evolved Take Two channel talking about that. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and as always, keep evolving. Mm -hmm.